Hi, I'm Yvette Rios. Are you team candy corn all day or team make it go away? Maybe this will change your mind. Candy corn is definitely controversial. Some people love it, some people hate it, but this cheesy candy corn might just bridge that gap. So to make your cheesy candy corn, you're gonna need three colors of cheese. You're gonna need orange, yellow, and white. So for my orange, I'm using rustic red cheddar. It's delicious and affordable. And then for my yellow, I'm using St. Mary's Gouda. And for my white, I'm using goat cheese. And I consulted with my hy cheese expert to pick all of these out. They're a tremendous resource so you can get just the right cheese. So I'm stacking up four blocks of my rustic red cheddar as my base of the candy corn. Then I'm gonna put on the St. Mary's Gouda. And you kinda wanna place them so that they're getting that pyramid triangular shape that you normally would get with candy corn. And then I'm gonna top it off with my goat cheese, but first I'm gonna trim it down so it looks just like a candy corn. So to help stabilize your cheeses while you carve them, I've got some skewers here that I'm just gonna push all the way through like that. And that's gonna just stabilize my cheeses while I trim them. And you would just trim the top of the skewer. So I've got my cheeses all skewered up and now it's time to carve them. So I'm using a pretty sharp knife and I'm just gonna start trimming the edges to give it that triangular shape. And the scraps that you have left over from your cheese, don't waste those because you can use them on a sandwich, you can use them to top soup. Okay, so now it's time for our goat cheese, which is the white part of our candy corn. So since goat cheese is a really soft cheese, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of cooking oil on my hands so it doesn't stick to it. It's kind of a nice moisturizer too. But no, seriously, the goat cheese is very, very soft. It helps if the goat cheese is a little bit warm too because you can kind of manipulate it a little bit more. So you're not just gonna serve it up like this on a cutting board, you're gonna put it on something really nice, like a nice little cheese plate and serve it with some beautiful crackers. Make sure you take your photos early because once people dig in, your photo op is over. But how cute is that? I think this cheesy candy corn is totally Instagrammable. For more of my holiday how-tos, go to hstv.com.